on now! Blind Way proudly presents Cooking with Blind Way. This episode, Cookies for Santa. Hey guys, Crew Blind Way back, and we are going to be making, as the announcer said, cookies for Santa. That wonderful man said it, we do it. Yep. Cookies for Santa. What kind of cookies, Callum? Chocolate chip cookies. Um, oh, 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 oh. It's kind of, it's kind yeah. of a, uh, a recipe book okay. recipe, but also kind of modified by my family. Okay. So if you recognize it, it's, it's sort of the uh, Toll House recipe. Nestle Tolls. Uh, I got Tolls. <laughs> hey, you did good. All right, the Germans is only toes. No, it's a friends okay. reference. Oh, I will assume the Santa role and judge if it if it fills my belly and jelly. Well, it'll do the same thing for old Saint Nick. Okay, okay. guys, that makes sense. Guys, what? There are recipes on the back. Don't these. follow that one. It's too yummy. Let's do Calvin's. Yeah. You know what? We need that extract. Baking soda. Salt. Brown sugar! Jane's not here. Oh, that hurt. No! Fuck this! Me sugar! I mean white sugar! Get water. Real easy, too. Easy, easy, eggs. easy eggs with the easy with the eggs. Salted butter! Oh! Good thing it is. Alright, so. Alright, first we're gonna mix together the dry ingredients, which includes uh, flour, baking soda, and. The salt, so I need two and one quarter cups of flour in this bowl. Two of these and one of those. Yes. Flour, flour, two of those. Damn it, Rick. You got flour everywhere. Do it over the bowl. What? No, the bowl. To get rid of any excess in the trash. Exactly. It might, I might get too much. Okay. You take this. See how it sinks down like that? So, cooking cook Christmas cookies at my house, my job is always Stay out of the way. Yeah, mine was always eat immediately after the oven. <laughs> my mom was like, no, that's not your job. I'm like, yes, it is. Dad told me. She was like, no, he didn't. He hadn't been home for three days. One more. We all cry. Stab, stab, and make sure it's dead. A little bit more. My mom would bake the cookies, and we would ice the cookies. The ice age. All right, is that enough for this one? Okay. Now we need a quarter. Little bit. This I got to that one you can scoop properly. In the bag. No. Damn it, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I made an errand joke. Calvin, now we need one teaspoon of baking soda. And measure out one teaspoon, scoop it, and then scrape it off from the from the back to the front on the top of the box so you get a level scoop. That's good. And just plop it in there. You almost missed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the same for salt. So, so, good. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. That'll work. It's a little heat up, it'll be fine. So now, put this in the mixer. Okay, I, I didn't know if it came on randomly or not. Okay. No. All right. I mean, not unless you. All right. Have it turned on. We didn't put a mixer in the ingredients list. Now, now is a good time to talk about mixing safety. You generally don't want to have like. You know, things fly all over the place so you don't get sucked in. Yeah. Destroyed by this powerful hydraulic machine. It's electronic. You'll be sucked in. Like air on a Saturday night at the boys club. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna take these dry ingredients. We're okay. gonna dump them in this bowl. The bowl? Because we're gonna use more pots, really. Well, I'm using it as a bowl. <clears throat> Can't say pot, that's illegal. Not yet. And now we're going to take the wet ingredients. No! I'm warming the butter. It says softened, which will be <laughs> one cup of butter, which equals two sticks. Oh, it's not nearly enough time. <laughs> Normally what I do is I put them in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Make sure you do it with the paper folded up. That way, if it softens it too much, it contains the spill. Let's get it right when it hits. Right when it hits. Not right before, not right after. Right when the beep, beep happens, Calvin. Okay, I got it. the beep happens, come on. No! Mix is best when it's not cold, because then it turns into lumps. Uh, so you want to be able to, yeah, malleate it like this. It needs to be malleable. So, so two sticks of butter, softened, or one cup. Another stick of butter. That's a big old bowl of butter. I don't think we put the brown sugar in. That was my nickname in high school. Huh? 
don't think we put the brown sugar in. In the ingredients? Yeah. We didn't open it. We did. No, I mean in this. Does it go in that? That's the dry ingredients. Sugar counts as a wet ingredient. Doesn't make any sense. It's because it's a it's a crystal. If you put it in a pan and give it heat, it melts. Okay. Let's cook crystal. So three quarters cups of white and brown sugar. So three quarters cups of each. Three quarters cups. This is one cup. I'll eyeball it. Uh, no, Eric. no, Eric, no. Wait, wait, Eric, you must use the quarter cup and the one cup and the three quarter cups. Yeah, measure, measure a quarter cup out of the one cup measure and you'll get three quarters cup. Ah, no! It goes in there? Yes. Eventually, yes. Once you measure it out. Okay, that's good for that. Pour that in. Now for the lab. Rick, save me that sugar. Okay. Put it in the trash where I like it. Oh, I thought you were gonna lick it out of my hand like a deer. Too much! No, I'm just gonna pour it in. <laughs> so now three quarters cup of brown sugar as well. Now brown sugar, um, because it's kind of a paste almost, you kinda have to pack it like that. Oh! It's okay, now pack it down. Just pack. Pack. Yeah. Pack. That's good? Okay, dump that in. Into this one. Close enough. And then wipe off what's on your hand. Yeah. Now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure that this is open and we're not just squeezing for no reason. You're watching my watch. Need one teaspoon of vanilla. Pour it in there and dump. Very good. Oh, all right, now we're gonna mix all this stuff up. Mm -hmm. What about the eggs? Oh, that's my shit. Huh? What about the eggs? Last. Ah, I was ready. We suddenly moved. Oh. What happened? The time skip. Oh, my head. But in this time skip, you ah. have me. But it's just impacting on the side. Yeah, no, it's not getting to the edge. No, it's okay. What you do with this, sometimes it sticks to the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. You just want to scrape it off the sides down to the bottom and make sure that anything on the bottom no! Oh, oh careful, Rick! Careful! Show the couch! Oh, no. uh, yeah, I know you guys can't see anything, but it's wonderful. This is a good color for what we're looking at. I can show them this. So now we take our dry ingredients and pour it in. Pour about half of it in. Okay? Now we're gonna mix this up, make sure it's mixed consistently, because we don't want the dry ingredients to clump inside the wet ingredients either. Now, we're going to add an egg. And the second half of that. So go ahead and pour that in. Oh. I crunched it. It's quite important. I'm not sure exactly what happens now was with your now hanging. I'm patient. Shouldn't we do the eggs over here from the bowl and then pick them over there maybe? Huh? Nothing. Chocolate chip and eggshell cookies. Oh. No. Don't do it. Don't let, Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not one! Let me look! I don't see any! Good job, Rick. I, I doubted you, hand. but... Ha -ha! Now we have the second half of the dry ingredients and the eggs in. Now we mix it all together. You see how it's changed from kind of a kind of a dark brown? It's changed into a lighter brown now? That's like called white, That's called whitewashing. Of oh, Michael Jackson. Jeez, you guys. Still clumping down there. She's in. No. It's not clumping down there? <laughs> That's what she said. What to the doctor. Disgusting <laughs> phrase. <laughs> it's still clumping. What is? Alright, so now we can add our chocolate chips, which is one and two thirds cup. One. That bag is wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna show you a trick that my ancestors taught me about. Okay. Ooh, I see the technique. Very special. And then they ate the whole thing. Okay, that's one cup. We're gonna put in that. Yep. That's about two thirds cup. About that. So now we mix the chocolate chips in consistently. Yeah. Yeah, two cups. Ooh, that's a good noise. Is it good, Calvin? Get in there. It seems like a big ball. It's supposed to be pretty sticky. Okay. We just make one giant cookie. Can we just diverge and make cookie dough ice cream? Ooh. We don't have an ice cream maker. That's it's so sticky! That's 95% of our dough right there. So now what we want to do is we want to get it all. Ah! 
want to get it all off of the mixer paddle into the bowl so that we can start dipping cookies out onto our sheet. But first, before we do that, we want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Done. Wow. All right, so make sure when you're cleaning this that you unplug the mixer. That way you don't accidentally like bump a switch or anything and turn it on and, and die. Hand tangled, yeah, and die. Could you demonstrate what dying would look like? So this is our chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. It looks great. Thank you. All right, your hands washed, Eric? Yep. Awesome. So what we're gonna do, oh. now these are non-stick. Technically you're supposed to use sticky sheets. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 15 cookie globs on this. We're gonna do three, two, three, two, three, two. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so one cookie glob is gonna be about this size. About the size of a, uh, of a Sacagawea if it were a ball. Like, no, not like that. Like the Indian woman who led Lewis and Clark to the- I was talking about the coin. A sack of Joe. A testicle. Is mine too big? Yours is a little bit too big. Your testicle? But go ahead and slap it on there. We'll see. Stuff would work. No, you're just cutting it's it into really, pieces. It's not, it's not working out how I thought it would. How many ones? 15. Three, two. We're doing them in rows of three and two and three and two and three and two. Let's do them like dive faces. Ready, Eric? No. No. Ah! Ah! I was waiting for it to make <laughs> You know the chef's trick of throwing spaghetti on the wall? This is our trick. That means it's done. That's me. Let's eat. It's ready to eat. <laughs> Should I put this one here? That's yeah, good. Good. it's fine. Finally, best moments 2018. <laughs> It just made it. <laughs> I hope it makes it. <laughs> All right. So this is 15 to a pan. You want them spaced about like that because uh, they're going to flow apart as they warm up. Calvin, this look nothing like cookies. They're too small, too round. Just wait. Rick, oh. give me more pan. So you don't want to tap them down and make them too flat because then they'll get too thin when they cook. Yeah. Um, you just want to keep them round. That way it, they flow evenly when they warm up. So the oven is warmed up to temperature. The first pan is always the trickiest because the pans aren't warmed up yet. Um, so you have to watch them the closest and then uh, add minutes or subtract minutes based on how well they're cooking. I'm gonna pop this in here and we're gonna set the timer to eight minutes. Is it true when they say that it's unsafe to eat cookie dough, raw cookie dough? Well, it's got raw eggs in it. So if you're okay with eating raw eggs, then you're okay with eating I'm not okay with that. Well, you made a terrible mistake. I think that's going okay. Okay. But, just in case, I'll check the time on my phone. It's 22.31. Where the hell? What's wrong with you? It's 10.31. Hey, you can use 24 hour time. So does Santa. And we're making these for him. Yep. And now, we wait. We shall return after this short commercial break. This went off, so we're gonna open this oven, see these cookies. It's probably gonna need some more time. Oh. <sighs> you can see they're cooking. They're smooshing down nicely. Wait, why are cookies called cookies when you bake them? Because you have to be a cook to do it. You'd be a baker. Fuck! All right, so we're waiting a few more minutes because they're not quite done yet. Like I said, the first pan always takes a little bit longer than the recipe recommends. All right, they're starting to brown around the edges. I'm gonna pull this out of here. Yeah. Okay. I set them down on the counter. <laughs> or on, okay. We or, have, yeah, yeah, just put that. You have some right twins. Oh, yeah. they so precious. I call that cookie. You don't want to take them off of the pan immediately uh, because they're way too soft <laughs> and they're hot, um, but they will continue to bake on the, the sheet. So you want to leave them there and just just where they're starting to brown around the outside. So if you see, like, right here, how it's just starting to brown, that's what you want to look for. And there, oh, I touched it. And we finished our no-bake cookies. That, no. That's what that is. All right, so that one was in there for about nine and a half minutes. Uh, we're gonna put this one in for nine minutes and keep an eye on it. Is it time, Calvin? I'm just testing. I think it's time. It is time! Oh, no, breakage. It's okay. 
But that's the biggest one! I can't believe I think of that. <laughs> <gasps> Three at once! Oh yeah. The magician. Mm. Now the true test of this cookie is to be able to pull it apart. Yes. So, milk. We actually broke tradition here because normally the cameraman is supposed to get the first taste, so. But Aaron wouldn't just wouldn't shut up, so. Oh, what? What? Come on up here, Aaron. You're drinking water. I don't drink milk. Doesn't like bacon, doesn't like milk. What the heck's wrong with you? Rick, just when I thought you couldn't get any pick here. Where, where did this milk come from? I bought it. Today. But not for the cookies. No. I bought it for my He's got milk. I'm like, Rick! I was like, Rick, wait! Did you get milk? And he goes, yes! I'm like, oh, thank God. I mean, for my coffee, not for this. And he pulls out his little thing of milk. I'm like, yeah, Rick! It's so small! <laughs> no cookie is complete without a little bit of milk. It's a little bit. A little, a little bit. It's a little bit. You got a whole glass! What milk is that? I don't Mm. What do you think, Aaron? Tastes like chocolate chip cookies. Is it good? You like it? No. They're great. Yeah. It's fantastic. They're disgusting, so I will take these off of your hands. All right, I'm going to try to enjoy one without this being shoved in my mouth. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're great. I'm impressed, Calvin. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, get the hell out of here, so come go back. Can we experiment and make one big cookie out of the rest? That's what I was gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Eric had an idea. Wanna tell us what it was, Eric? <laughs> okay, so it is a toilet that can go in the water, hold and then on, when you flush hold on, it, it hold on. you for. This was not the idea that you Oh, but the cookies, okay. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. gonna throw all the rest of the shit in here and see what happens. Okay. Is that kind of what you yeah. had in mind? Yep. Okay. Is this hot? Why didn't we no. just bake it in this we'll and the fill it with hot fudge? Rick, since you weren't able to help. Uh, uh. <laughs> Go on. Since you weren't able to help, I ran form the cookie side, ran earlier to fart. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's so great. All right. Rick, since you weren't able to help form the cookies, do you want to clean off the spoon? Yeah, would you like to clean stuff? <laughs> That's for fun? Yay! Oh shit! Ah! Yeah, it needs to go in there for a little bit longer. Will that help the cooking process? Um, maybe? <laughs> it just peels off on the top and makes it. We know it sticks. It's sweet. I would I love. Before. I would love if it peeled off from the top and landed, and then he <laughs> zoomed in on it and it was a <laughs> crap. <practice. laughs> <laughs> Mature people, don't play with your food. What? What are you doing? Playing with my food. Proper light, can you see a little bit? Yeah, you can see a little bit of brown around the edge, so that's yeah. good. Go ahead and set it on the burners, and we'll put this one in. Um, this one will take a little bit longer, so I'll say about 11 minutes to cook that one. As you're making bigger and bigger batches of these, the pans will keep warmer between batches, so the cookies will cook more consistently and quicker out of the oven. So you can cycle through uh, putting the cookies, the raw cookie dough, on the pan putting them in, taking them out, scraping them off, putting them, putting them to the side. But yeah, this is just a really simple recipe. Um, hope you guys like it and enjoy it for the Christmas season. And uh, like I said before, it is very important to mix the dry and the wet ingredients separately and then mix them together so you get the really good consistency. Or whatever holiday you happen to celebrate because cookies are for everyone. Yes, the holiday season, I should say. Thanks, everyone. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Eric. What? We forgot. The big cookie. The big cookie. Give me the big cookie. Oh. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh.